Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2 here today on the channel. We're back on our Divide et Impera Empire Divided DLC modded campaign as Aurelian. This is episode 3. So guys, in today's episode, we're going to continue our conquest of the Italian Peninsula against the Roman Pretenders. My brother Lucius is currently sieging out Cassentia, and the Emperor himself, Sol and Victor, Invictus Incarnate, is uh, pushing down to help. So we're going to be able to take Cassentia here today. In the last episode, we managed to take Brundisium. And then before that, the island of Sicily. We're still continuing to push against the Pretenders all the way to the steps of Rome itself. Beneventum is still in our way, of course. So we're going to loot and occupy Cassentia for now and bring some of the plunder back to our core territories in Greece and the Balkans. The Man in the Armor Part 1. My helm feels heavy today, oddly uncomfortable. Its weight causes an annoying itch that calls uh, around my scalp and down my ears. So here are some of the events that we can go with. So we can succumb to the itch in front of our soldiers. Or we can scold him, we can joke, we can control yourself or take off the helm. At the end of the day, I am an Emperor of the Roman Empire. The sun god himself shines upon me. So I think what I'll go to, especially seeing as my men are watching me, we shall control yourself. The true emperor shows no weakness to his subordinates. Yeah, there's no way we're taking on taking off this helm. I don't know if I even can. The man in the armor part one. Lucius really I remember that day still. I still remember the anger I felt at the most insignificant itch. <laughs> so we managed to get a plus one zeal, which is probably one of the better ones we can get from that. Zeal is, is quite good in Total War Rome too. And now we've got a plus one because of it. Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. We're still continuing to conquer the south. We're advancing from the recent siege in uh, Cosentia. Now we're going to be pushing for Beneventum with... Aurelian himself, and even though we only outnumber the pretenders here in Beneventum by about 700, Aurelian, the emperor, is going to take it quite easily. Now I've got a couple of options here. I can loot and get 8,000, but we might be better off to occupy the city so I can get replenishment. Let's do that so we can use the field buildings there because we will need to repair and replenish before we push upon the city of Rome itself. We do have a workshop here which uh, we could use, especially seeing Rome is just around the corner. We've nearly built up a stable enough economy for us to spend 2.2 thousand, 2.2k on that. Uh, it's about 400 upkeep though. Just comparing the Italian levies and the Brutii infantry, it's actually slightly better than the Empire Divided units. So they still need to work some things out for this Empire Divided DLC for um, Divide et Impera just yet. But it's going to be quite some time before they do that. They're really focusing on their brand new Alexander the Great campaign and still tweak uh, tweaking the dra uh, Grand Campaign at some points. Oh, ally attacked. What's this? Numidia has declared war upon Mauritania. Um, I want to side with Numidia. So we've got a couple of options here. We can enter war on ally side because we're both, they're both my client states. I wish this was a little bit more clear. In Total War Attila it is. So we have to break alliance because we don't want to defend Mauritania, if I'm not mistaken. Because Numidia border me. They have probably four regions to their two. All right, let's have a look down in the south. Yep, so we are still protecting Numidia. They actually have five territories here to Mauritania's to Tingus and Sega. They should be able to defeat them, but I wish that was a little bit more clear. You need to read carefully if they're aggressive or not. But for now, the alliance with Numidia stands. The Seb, the Sibylline books. These are tough times. This is another event. The people are gripped by fear. The Senate urges you to look for answers in the mythical books. 
What is it that you seek above all? Uh, power, stability, victory, prosperity. Um, I'm sure, like in Warhammer, some of these come at a cost. But I think prosperity is probably the best. Okay, guys, we're mobilizing for the battle for Asculum. We currently have a full stack here with my brother and with Cassentia falling. Legion 1 is still replenishing. I'm going to ask for reinforcements from the governor of Brundisium to send up the Imperial Navy. Seven units are going to come help us out in Asulkum. And it's going to be another clear cut order resolve. We outnumber them by about a thousand. And Emperor Aurelian is taking another territory on the peninsula. Asculum has fallen to the Sun God once more. Now, we could loot it, but once again, I want the replenishment here. I think maybe some of the fringe northern territories we probably could sack. There's actually a really good grain pit there, which we can use. So we need to get this replenishment before we push upon the city of Rome, which we border now. Con uh, consulting the Sibylline books, or the Sabeline books. The keeper of the books were ordered to find a prophecy. Okay, to help you continue your achievement. Um, they descend into the temple, into the chambers, and begin searching for the old texts. Hope they don't find any lizardmen <laughs> or something where they're going down into the depths. Prophecy of Prosperity. At the dawn of the new day, the keepers of the books emerge from this sanctum. Uh, their interpretation of the books is that if you seek prosperity, you need to create a large statue to Juno. We can fulfill the prophecy, plus wealth from culture and all resources, minus seven public order. I think we should do that, probably. Organize the festival, that's always good. Well, minus six from all wealth, but we do get public uh, order. We don't really need public order, though. We're actually quite stable for now. Forget the prophecy or burn the books. <laughs> I wonder if that sort of dragged you away from the Senate, but yeah, they don't even have that much influence in this time period. We're in the time of emperors, so we'll fulfill the prophecy. Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. We're going to have the Siege of Rome here today. Hopefully, if they stand and fight, we'll have the battle of it outside on the fields of Mars. We currently have Emperor Aurelian here with uh, one... Let's get exactly... So, seven units of Roman legionaries, two units of equites, three units of Roman levies, two units of Imperial Watch. Uh, uh, maybe I should get rid of them. They are a spear unit. I thought they might be alright. Melee, attack 4, defense, just for counteracting cavalry, infantry, and elephants. Eh, not too bad. Roman ballista here, slingers, and Midian archers. We've got my brother here, Lucius, with the additional army, making up the bulk of the Roman levies. He even has one of his own Roma ballista units. So it looks like the Roman pretenders are rallying one force outside. Why does that say six? When there's only one in it. I guess they're recruiting five? Yeah, I guess it works like that. In the city of Rome itself, there's 20 units. Quite a fair few than vanilla. Uh, I might as well go through now where my armies sort of are and where we're sort of holding. So up in the north, we have a rather large force here in Edessa. Even though we have now made peace with the Gothi, we're only at war with Gallic Rome, the Pretenders, and Britannia for now. We're actually at peace with the Lusitani and the Gothi. I do fear invasions from them, and... They seem to be, yeah, moving their generals down. Man, look at these, he's got wolves on his shoulders. Holy shit. <laughs> this dude's a fucking badass. All right. Um, yes, so we have seven units here in Edessa holding. In our capital, which we will change to Rome eventually, uh, in uh, Serenium, we have Legion 3. And then we have another legion here in Navrona. So just holding. Um, fortunately enough for me, we haven't had any rebellions and no one's really pushed over here, thankfully. I guess the Gallic Romans are focusing on uh, maybe the Francii, Alemanni, Mauritania maybe. Uh, it does look like the Iberians are going against each other. Uh, you never know, Britannia could be, like, getting pushed by the Caledonians there as well. 
Uh, pushing westward, Palmyra is getting massively pushed ba backed by an Armenian and Sassanid coalition. Yeah, the holy city of Antioch has been taken by the Armenians and pushing into um, Anatolia there. That's quite an interesting play. So we have three armies up in the north. We have my navy here in Asculum. And we have a small navy here in Syracuse. Another army in Pano defending Legion 5. And we've also got another Legion here um, in Carthage defending. So we really have five armies just sort of sitting back, consolidating, defending, ready to blitzkrieg units and mercenaries if need be. But the main force is now going to move north against the Roman pretenders. So Legion 2 Africana can move up and Legion 1 Dacia here with the Emperor. So will they stand and fight? And they will. They're going to find us on the field. So we're going to be fighting on the fields of Mars here today. There will not be a siege against the Roman pretenders. A furious Bassus. <laughs> okay. Uh, Publius Aurelius Crispus. And Marcus Massac. Some ironic names. Furious, he's going to be angry after the fight. And Crispus. We've got a lot of Roman Ballista with fire ammunition rounds. Looking at the order resolve, we have 6,990 to their 4,945. We do outnumber them by uh, yeah, around about 2,000. This is going to be a 13,000 man battle. It is currently snowing. It's winter in Rome. So let's fight this one on the field. You forget how actually cold Rome gets. The Battle of Rome, 272 AD. We're going to be fighting the Roman pretenders here today. So we do have a couple of options. Um, this smaller army here, we could rush and kill the general with our own cavalry. We could just rally up and make a strong long front line then push through. We have artillery and skirmisher supremacy, so they're going to probably try and close the difference and attack us anyway. Yeah, but you get, forget it, sort of how cold it gets and snows, because my holidays are in December, January, February-ish. And I was looking at just like flights and stuff to Rome and temperature and stuff, and it's like... 10, 15 degrees <laughs> in January in Italy. Like it just, it's just crazy compared to here. Like, you want to sort of escape in the holidays, go to somewhere nice and sunny. No. Nah. Greece and sort of Italy get really fucking cold because the prices and stuff for holidays are super cheap. I don't know. It might be quite cool. I've only really been there in the July and June in the summer, walking around. But in saying that, it's probably been five years since I've been in Italy, but regardless, we're here now, in Rome. <laughs> okay, uh, three chances remaining is dry. Let's start the deployment. I'm happy with that. Our reinforcements are coming slightly to the left of us. Let's make a front line with my infantry, and we'll try and protect and rally up with the infantry coming in. Uh, we can slightly move it towards the tree line there. We'll also move infantry here now. And more there. We'll wait for our reinforcements to come in. Ballista can sit in the open field and go with a flammable shot. My skirmishers can sit out here as well. Um, I could switch to a flammable round. Seeing as we've got a lot of slingers. There's going to be a lot of peeler. Yeah, let's do it. Because we're going to be able to rain fire and death upon a lot of them. We'll allow the emperor to sit there. My cavalry can actually move into the thick forest. And they might be able to catch someone there. Maybe pushing on the far side, actually. Just due to line of sight in the hill. One's hidden there. Why can't we make the second one hidden there? Okay, maybe like that needs to be there. Yeah, and we'll slowly make our way down and around that way. Alrighty. Let's have a look at the Roman army. So here we have medium spears on the flank. So I was sort of questioning their ability, melee attack and defense. But on the flanks, they'll be okay. Really wanting to stop cavalry charges. 
And if we ever fight elephants or camels, that's where they're used for. Legionaries and infantry further at the front. Roman ballista further at the back. And here is the embodiment of the sun god himself. We have Emperor Aurelian, Sol Invictus himself. The metal machination, the golden god. I like to call him, but uh, he's holding there. And then our Imperial Cavalry, Equites, uh, sitting further here. So we'll try and do some flanking maneuvers. Alrighty, let's have a look at the Roman Pretenders actually, because we can already see a little bit of line of sight. So the Roman Pretenders do have some top tier quality units. They have their Roman Cataphractari there, the blue variant of the Pretenders. They also have their own u unit, which looks like mercenary Italian swordsmen. They're getting ethnic Samnites and sort of southern Latin soldiers in their ranks. And uh, there's their Cataphractari, which we really have to watch out for. Alrighty, let's start the battle there. Let's allow my soldiers to quickly push here without running. So they can still remain concealed. My ballista are now actually in range. And we're going to be able to get some early bombardments against them. Let's allow to fire upon this. And what I'll do is continue. Uh, once more infantry comes in, we can kind of shield like that. So, yeah, here we go. So we'll make it something like that. Yeah, yeah, the initial ones. We'll move my secondary general down here. And what I'll do is I'll send the Emperor further north. Okay, so what are they doing exactly? Try and bomb these Italian swordsmen now. Get some shots off against them. Wonder if we can have a shot on ourselves. Let's go with that. Yeah, it's going to fall short just. Which is a shame. Alright. I'm going to halt until my reinforcements arrive. Everyone's here. Yeah, because where are their forces coming from? Further at the back. Alright, we might be able to catch this unit here now. Because this army here only had two units, didn't it? So the rest of the force is actually further at the back. So what we could do is actually charge with the generals if they get down here quick enough. And we might be able to get rid of these swordsmen. Um, we, need to, we need to sort this out properly because it was okay when I thought they were a little bit quicker trying to rush me, but this seriously needs to be sorted. Realistically, my brother would have all and know the commands before this fight would even happen. So we'll send... Uh, probably like... F no, we probably... Let's just go like that. So I go four there, right? Then go another four here into the forest. And then we'll make a secondary line towards the center. And I'll put my slingers up here to make things look a little bit nicer. And we'll move. So where is it there? It's there. So yeah, something like that. And then we can move the ballista there. And the general can sit there and get a better presence. And then eventually there. But we want to try and push against this cavalry, uh, not cavalry, we want to push our cavalry towards this swordsman. We do need to keep an eye on that cavalry that was out there though. So we seem to be pushing over here quite well. Sinnings, it's the Emperor. We're going to have to be a little bit easy on the trigger and wait for some reinforcements to come in. We could very well just allow my brother who actually has the Cataphractari division to go for it. But it looks like already, we're probably going to be able to catch them. So what we'll do, we'll send in the Cataphractari. We'll pierce them from the side. Nah, they're just going to be here now too quick, so we just got to go for it. Alright. Charge in, go, go, go. Pull there, be dynamic, if you need be. But we're going to be able to hit these guys from behind here now. Unfortunately, that charge was shit because it blocked it. And now we're way too close to the front line. Damn it! They just caught us too good there. we got to go. I can't afford to allow my general generals to be that exposed. Uh, we tried, but we weren't quick enough. 
I should have done it a lot earlier. Ah, uh, well. No matter. You live and learn. Uh, okay, and everyone's moving further back here. Okay, I allow my cavalry to make their way here. So they're already trying to gain some ground there on this side. Spears. We've got some sitting. Just chilling. Okay, they're coming back towards our front line. Um, there's a lot more cavalry there. So we're going to have to fall back. Because they're quite quick there and they're peppering us a bit. Uh, so they are trying to push there on their flank with their cavalry. And they're trying to skirmish us out there as well. And my reinforcements still aren't going to make it there. The ones that I originally intended to go further on the flanks. You're going to have to go here instead. Are they charging me down in there? Are you kidding me? Well, we can parlay. We'll get my spears in there to help. So it looks like the Roman pretenders have made the decision to throw the kitchen sink on the right flank. They're throwing absolutely everything they've got. Okay, now my artillery is in range. Oh, God, they're going to get caught there. They still haven't made it. So it will allow this artillery to start bombing the central line. Um, even though I gave the order for this lot of artillery, it's just not going to get there, which is a shame. We are skirmishing out a lot of them. Now, we'll be fine here. As long as no infantry gets involved. But there are skirmishes and stuff at the back, so there very well could be. No generals getting targeted out. So at the moment, there's a bit of a skirmish going on here. We've managed to kill some of the cataphractari of the pretenders here, but they had just been absolutely shredded by the peeler. Our archers are using flammable shots and so are our catapults. They're trading quite well with theirs. Now, because we can't actually see what the fuck is going on in this, what I'm going to do to be safe is just move my cavalry out and cycle charge. Um, everyone here, bar those archers, make a fortified line like this. Oh, you need to get the cavalry out of that. Just pull back now. Make a... Just play it safe, because I can't even tell what's going in there myself. Okay, so these ballista here, uh, they're trying to form up and hit. So you can try and hit something like this. We're actually nearly... S their s units are so close. We're going to be able to get some quick charges off. But this... Oh, God, that's a miss. And the reload seems to be okay. Yeah, so let's just bomb absolutely everything we got. Oh, no, it's going to clip the front line. Bring it down, bring it... Yes, that's what we wanted. Make sure they get nowhere near us there. God, this thing's inaccurate. Or I. <laughs> right, I need to stop that. Right, uh, try and bomb this. You try and hit this then. Right, that uh, movement did work well. Where's my cavalry? Oh, God, I commanded you to get out of there, please. Right, go for this. Trade that. You pull back this way. You can hit that, that's fine. Let's drop some buffs down. Now, I forget how sort of high tier these are, because we could have formed a testudo formation if we needed to. Or a hollow square as well. Okay, they're starting to route in crucial points. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to command my infantry to counter charge. There's actually like so many units here that are sitting, which is quite ridiculous. So what I want the majority of you to do is... Pick a unit and charge. And that's like all of them. So there was only like one that didn't have one. Okay, let's move the general further up here. We'll uh, continue to bomb into this sort of stuff. They're still continuing to charge. Um, let's get my cavalry back here because they're a little bit exhausted. But let's have a look and see how they're doing down the front line. So on the left, they're still continuing to push the majority of their forces there and the Roman legionaries are holding here for now. Something a little bit different, fighting on the fields of Mars instead of the siege of Rome itself. That's what I'm talking about. Kind of reminds me of in vanilla Rome when the SPQR... Whoa, is it a... F what? Oh, shit. Um, just like looking there, we've been caught. Plug that. I'm super surprised about that. 
Huh, they really broke. Um, it kind of reminds me of when you... When the SPQR used to always force a siege out. Okay. We're still continuing to hold and trade. The front line's holding adequately. It does look like their center is starting to break slightly. And we are incredibly now flanking and rotating and moving around. I'm going to allow my ballista to halt and move out of here. I don't want them to accidentally continue firing upon me. Uh, at this point in time, they're just drawing me away. Oh, my skirmishes have been caught by what? Oh, that's actually horsemen that have caught them there. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. Let's continue to counter charge here. So they seem to be actually dominating us in the forest there and have caught us in some particular regions. Yeah, like I said, they really focused a lot of their soldiers on that right flank. Everyone else is fine for now. Uh, what I can do is allow my brother to give chase on some of these slingers. Even though the Emperor is now taking some shots, he can move further this way. Alright, we're going to continue to give chase on some of these particular units. And they really need to push around and help. It's not over just yet. Because some of our units are actually buckling somewhat there. It's not as over... Oh god, did they really disappear? It's not such an over-resounding victory just yet. Uh, damn. They're actually moving some cavalry down there. I thought my brother could seriously, uncontested, push against some of these archers. But if there's a, a full general unit there, he can't necessarily do that, can he? Okay, we'll cycle charge into the back of this. Yes, yeah, so they still seem to be holding out there. Alright. Uh, my, my brother's fine here. Yeah, I'm just going to play it safe. Pull back to the siege equipment. Or we'll allow some of our infantry to give chase against theirs. While the rest moves up. Alrighty, so we still seem to be holding there. You're all pushing quite well against them. Yeah, they've even got some more cavalry further back there. They definitely had cavalry supremacy on their side for this one. Which is surprising. I didn't really identify that when I started things off. So it looks like our swordsmen are getting surrounded there by their Italian swordsmen and cataphractari. My spearmen should be able to push in now and make quick work of them holding out. Yeah, really just sort of go for it now. Trying to capture some of these guys is a little bit fruitless there. Okay. They're now retreating as well. Yeah, so continue to push and take territory where we can. Uh, you go for that. Uh, can you continue to push? Yep. Yeah, we got him now. Alright, where's my brother? Uh, yeah, so he's been caught, so that's alright, you go there. Alright, let's speed things up. The right flank was where we were going to lose it, if any, time. Send the spears after them. But we've managed to defeat them there. Yeah. Maybe what the reason maybe the reason why we lost so many casualties on here is that in forests infantry efficiency goes down. Melee attack and defense. So if they had a lot of Javelin men, skirmishes there, which I think they might have. They very well could have. That could attribute to the high losses. But the Roman pretenders, even though we've only fought them for this series, have given us a hell of a fight. I've got to give it to them. 
There's some small skirmishes, some small spot fires in and around the last of the Roman pretenders holding. Spearmen dealing with cavalry and some of the legionaries finishing off the last of the archers that ran us around ragged. And first forced us to chase them. And what is this? A cohort? A small Roman pretender cohort unit. So even they have their own blue variant as well. Which is really cool. It's going to be a small clash here towards the end. Be able to finish and kill off some of the commanders and some higher officials there. Okay, what even still seems to be holding out now? They are. So are they. Swing down there to help. They're now gone. You swing there. Alright. Yeah, mostly just skirmishes and stuff. Nothing too much more there. But they are making us run for it. That general unit there is still holding out with the furious Bassus. <laughs> oh, God, I love these Roman names. Alright, yeah, they're still pushing there. Sweet. You go there as well, mate. Alright, and you go for that. They still haven't given up yet. Oh, my God, these guys keep on evading us there. I don't want to risk my generals going in. But now we severely lack cavalry. Uh, there's any archers up there, so... Maybe you can. God, they're really trying to form up there, these pricks. Yeah, they've still got this general unit pissing about. That's what's probably really holding them all together. Come on, we just need to get one unit to hold them down. We're pushing the rest there. We still technically haven't won yet. Oh, now they're going. No, they're not. Yeah, these guys are still running down. Yep, now we can send in the general because they're all wavering. How many is in there? 36. You never know, like even an unlucky charge might not work, but we need to wrap this up because these guys aren't. These guys are struggling to get down the last of them. Yeah, look at that. Oh, here we go. Looks like they're going to parlay. Furious, my brother and I are pushing against the last of their Cataphractari. We killed half of them the initial charge. And now they're officially routed. Victory! We have victory here today. A close victory. Okay, so we deployed... Yeah, I think that was not too bad. We deployed 6,990, losing 2,310. Sending they deployed 5,000. I think that's alright. 4,945. We lost a lot of casualties towards the end there, just sort of overextending. They lost 4,287, and we avoided having to siege out the city of Rome itself, destroying the garrison and surrounding armies on the field. My Roman legionaries did 141, uh, 204, the higher performing ones. My equites, I just need maybe some just better quality cavalry, especially armor-wise. They keep on getting shredded for the way I use them in this series thus far. Normal Roman marines and soldiers did okay. My Ballista, 130 for their cost, obviously, for fun and, and morale and, and sake, they're, they're okay, especially for sieges and stuff, but for, like, field battles on the daily, you're better off getting some Slingers, because they nearly perform the same as them. The Roman Pretenders there with their General Furious and Cataphractari Heavy Cavalry killed 169, even some of the... Italian Spears got 120 as well. So as this was a field battle, we did lose some friendly fire that we can directly see. The enemy killed 2,161. 
And there's still a discrepancy of 200 men that either got killed by skirmisher rocks going wayward, archer fire, or probably more obvious, ballista bombardments clipping the front line here and there when I took control. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Maybe there was a lot more friendly fire in ancient warfare. It's just so hard to tell, isn't it? Like, they had to use code names. Flash! I'm thinking like World War II. Flash! Thunder! Oh, fuck! It's you! <laughs> um, I think some of them wore, like, uh, like, ribbons and stuff on their arms to identify, especially when the Roman War sort of erupted. They did have catchphrases and stuff, but that doesn't work half the time until the other the other team or enemy side starts here and you say, Flash! 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 <laughs> they start yelling it back to you. I remember that from uh, Band of Brothers. I don't know exactly how realistic that specific scene was, but I knew they knew they used code words like that in uh, World War Two when they took Normandy. You never know some with those type of things. Sometimes you can have uh, artistic license. All right, so we've managed to take the city of Rome here now. We lost one unit of Roman levies, and my brother, Lucius, didn't lose any, which is good. All righty, we're going to kill the captives, and now we're going to be able to walk straight into the city of Rome itself. No, 209 citizens have been rallied up there. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> All right, we shall move my brother in to share the XP and take the city alongside him. It'd nearly be sort of... Uh, it'd be nearly a good idea to maybe divide the empire up between east and west with him. I'm sure in the future that'd cause problems, but for now it should be right. Okay, so we've got a couple of options here. Uh, we could loot. Province instability, conquest... All the captives are enslaved. Public order is greatly reduced. Look, I can't, I can't loot Rome. I want it to be my capital. I want to keep some of the build. The problem is, if the buildings aren't good, we're probably better off sacking it. But I want to try and keep the populace. And if we get the RNG of the AI building adequate quality buildings in Rome, we might get lucky. Let's cross our fingers and hope and occupy, move capital. Oh, really? Uh, did I misclick? Uh, no, surely, surely that's not the game. Maybe I've misclicked there. You've chosen to move your capital region to a new location. It will be the new capital, the new seat of your government and trade network. Should we move their capital there? Move. Move our capital to Rome to do nothing. Sometimes it's best to simply let things lie. Take me work with them. No, let's move the capital, but I'm going to probably go bankrupt, aren't I? No, it is the game because it would have cost 5000 if I did it through this. It was the game. That's all right. We've taken Rome and the buildings inside. Uh, supply pits okay, and that. And then we've got a Roman barracks there. I wish there was more military buildings, because yes, a grain supply is good. Pivoting now, pushing into northern Italy, but you really want that in the likes of, I don't know, probably Asculum or or Tarentum or Irinium or something. Somewhere it's a little bit less quality. But uh, regardless, guys, thank you very much for watching episode 3 of the Total War Rome 2, Divide et Impera, uh, Empire Divided, Aurelian Roman Campaign. We've managed to take Rome here today, more territories in southern Italy, and we nearly have eradicated the Roman pretenders. All that lies between us and total domination of them and holding sort of Rome's traditional Italian holdings is uh, Arinium, Aretium, Patavium, Genoa, Mendelodunum, so five in the north, Illyria and Corallus there in Sardinia and Corsica. Then that's it. Um, let me know in the comments where you'd like me to push next. We could go up against uh, Tectriclus in Gallic Rome. Britannia's there, ripe for the taking. And seeing there's a Lusitani, uh, Hispania, Latin war going on. 
We could push for that. Uh, Egypt, we could maybe go out and help. Palmyra is massively on the back seat. She is just getting bashed and brutalized over there by the Armenians. We might be able to... Yeah, you never know. We might actually be able to take, like, Jerusalem or something, or Tyros even, or Petra. Yeah, we'll just sort of have to see. But thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand and conquer. Support this series, and I'll do more episodes. It's as simple as that. Peace. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsi. Goodbye.